Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvaldo Grimm here and today we are going to take a look at the Halloween exclusive chest of the day and we are going to take a look if they are worth your gems or not and with one of them is going to be a pretty straightforward answer but with the other one it's going to be a little bit more interesting because uh, it's the third uh, gear materials and reforges chest that we get this year all of them have been different so we'll compare this to each one of them and we will see uh, if compared to them it stands out and then we'll talk about if it's worth worth it or not. So with all that being said, subscribe if you want to stay updated on content like this and let's get into it. Also I wanted to point out uh, a thing that I just noticed, I did not notice when I started to make the video, but the growth pack will be on sale and uh, this is usually a great deal and uh, it's one of the better deals you can get in the game even when it's not on sale. So now that it's on sale, if you ever thought about dropping some money on Injust 2 Mobile, you, I, I think this will be a pretty decent buy for you, like you, you get a lot of value for much less money than you would be spending on something else. So if you want to buy a growth pack, definitely go for it man. It will be good. Now let's get to the chests. Okay, so we got Legendary Halloween Platinum Chest. And this will have increased chances for uh, Batman, Jaguar Lagrod, Brainiac, Darkseid, Arkham Knight, Batman and Just League Superman. First of all, we'll go through each of those characters real quick and uh, I'm going to tell you if they are worth paying gems for or not, or if you need to, and then we're going to go through the rest. First of all, Batman Jaguar Lagrod is going to be a great tank, great damage dealer, great combo builder. He will be a must-have character in the Batman Ninja team, which is one of the top 6 raid teams, but he has a challenge. And in that challenge, you'll be able to farm him with League of Anarchy characters. So you'd rather f uh, buy League of Anarchy chests so that you get League of Anarchy characters to farm him up. Though I'll consider him a good job because he's such a good character, though keep in mind you'll not get his gears from achievements or anything. They drop very very rarely from uh, T7 and T8, they can be gotten from his uh, gear chest that you'll have to most likely drop like 20k on. So yeah, you you're far better off uh, buying them off in the paid offers if you get him. Next up, Brainiac. He has a challenge that can be farmed with uh, Bad Manager characters, so you can get him from there. He also has gears in there, so we'll get his gears from there. And as a character, he's terrible at everything except one thing, being a support character for our legendary characters. He's a go-to support for Black Manta, Black Manta being one of the best damage there, so this character is a good character to have, but not a good character to pay gems for. So Brainiac is not good here. Dark Side. Darkseid is going to be a legendary character that has his gears, so you'll definitely get his gears. Uh, and uh, at the same time, you need to keep in mind that uh, he's not such a great character in Raids and Soul Raids. Like, he's amazing in Arena NCA. But the thing is, uh, in this game, there's not much that, that much accent put in a, on Arena NCA, and Raids and Soul Raids are going to be where you need to build your characters towards. Because uh, characters that perform well in Sol Raids and Soul Raids will do just fine for you uh, uh, in Arena and Champions Arena, but that does not apply the other way. And. Uh, Next up we got just like uh, Arcanite Batman. Arcanite Batman is going to be a great character for A9 CA. He will be a must have character for one of the best, uh, if not the best, uh, Soul Ray teams. And uh, you'll get his gears once you unlock him and that will be all good, like he's a good draw from here. Just like Superman is a legendary character that is a great damage dealer, he's in the top 6 teams or soul raids at the very least, but in order to make him work you'll need his gears that are not easy to get, same deal as with Batman Jaguar Lagrod, and on top of that you'll also need to have a Just League Cyborg to make him work, uh, because uh, he does not really work without Just League Cyborg, and uh, Just League Cyborg is another quite rare character, so keep that in mind. So overall, is this just worth it? Well, in my opinion, not really, like, if uh, we had, let's say, instead of Brainiac or instead of Darkseid, we had uh, Black Manta, then yes, you could have gone for it. This would have been a pretty damn decent chest, but uh, uh, you will not have uh, Black Manta and that's a big bummer. On top of that, keep in mind, keep in mind, guys, don't fall in the trap, they just... They j I'm not sure if, for, if it's for the Platinum chest, but right now you can unlock uh, legendary characters on the heroes uh, in the, on the hero chest and premium hero chest. And for those at the very least, and most likely for those types of chests too, they have changed that once you uh, get drop a legendary character, you're not going to get him anymore at five stars. Uh, at three, at four stars, excuse me, you're going to get them straight at three stars. So you are getting half the shards on those type of chests, or that's at the very least how it seems to be in the nor in the normal chest and premium chest. So yeah, definitely it's a no for me on this one. Like, 
if you want to go out of your and get some legendary characters, this is not the worst chest in the world you could buy. But at this price, it's full price, not like sale, not like discount price. I really wouldn't go for it. Now let's move on to the gear and resources chest. So right here we got ourselves the Halloween gear material chest. And this is the third, let's say, custom gear material chest uh, that they put in this year. And all of them follow the same pattern of having reforges and gear materials only. But what differed was the uh, chances of getting those specific things and at the same time the price of the chests. Uh, at the very least compared to this one. So I'll try to put up on the screen, hopefully I don't forget to, that, that would be awkward to forget to cut them up in Photoshop. I'll put the other two chests that uh, were this year, so far released before this one. And keep in mind I'll not put that also on the screen, but keep in mind those two chests were cheaper than this one. They were uh, 320 gems each instead of 350. This is the first one that's going to be 350. And uh, the chances, those are the chances on those two chests. First of all, we had the uh, Easter chest that uh, out of the, all of the chests gave like uh, more gear materials uh, we, and less reforges. Then we have the, had the anniversary materials chest uh, and also made the videos on them when they came out. And the anniversary material chest gave... Uh, like a little bit less gear materials but a little bit more reforges quite a lot more reforges actually compared to the easter one so first of all how did i make these calculations at that point and also i did it for this chest i made the calculation by uh we, we have here a little bit of percentages so let's say uh, you have a three percent chance to get 500 resources uh, 550,000 uh, gear materials. You get a 3% chance to get 50,000 gear materials, okay? Well, uh, that means that with average luck uh, for each 100 of those chests that you open, you're going to get yourself uh, that amount of gear materials three times. So I just multiplied each uh, uh, amount by the uh, percentage number. And that gave me roughly how much you'd get from 100 chests. That's not how much you'll get from 100 chests. You'll get more or less based on your luck. Because this is luck reliant. But on average, that's what you are going to get from 100 chests. Now let's get back on track from everything down to bottom. First of all, we had the Easter chest that... Uh, for 100 Easter chests bought, you would get uh, 1,500,062,400 uh, uh, gear materials, 350 reforges, and you'll have to pay uh, uh, 320,000 gems. Uh, uh, this is the highest amount of gear materials that those chests gave, and the lowest amount of reforges. Then we have the anniversary material chest. This gave 1,463,450 uh, uh, gear materials, 612 uh, reforges, and it costed uh, yet again uh, 320,000 uh, gems to get 100 of them. This gave uh, more reforges than the Easter one, but a little bit less than gear materials, Those were the, though this was far superior to the uh, Easter one. Now, the, Hall the Halloween one that we got right now. So, following the same calculations, right? At 100 of those spots, you'll get uh, 1,170,000 uh, 1, gear materials. So that's right off the bat less gear materials than uh, any of the previous chests and uh, you'll get uh, 895 uh, gear reforges. Uh, so the reforges will be the highest we've got so far but the materials will be the lowest and also it will be the highest price. So considering all those information that I thrown at you, should you buy this? Not really, no, no. Like, why, why, what do you need reforges uh, anyway for? So, the thing with reforges, because I really want to talk about this. The thing with reforges is that Netherrealms purposefully made them rare. Made them hard to get. And until Soul Race came out, we found ourselves into some uh, lack of reforges. Reforges, I say, was the most wanted currency. But since Soul Race came out, that lack was kind of filled a little bit. They also said they buffed the rates on campaign, but right now you are kind of getting reforges. One way or another you are kind of getting reforges. And also since then we got some uh, pretty powerful artifacts and now they get bonuses. And that bonus is going to uh, have their personal reforges. So right now we have another currency that's going to be the most valuable currency. Like before it was reforges. Everybody wanted reforges, but now we got a currency that's called like, uh, I don't know, artifact reforges or something like that. But yeah, anyways. 
that new reforge, that new golden and shiny reforge should be the thing that you're aiming for. This, this is not valuable anymore. Like, of course, you need to upgrade your characters, you need to get your bonuses right. But right now, artifacts play a much bigger role than the than uh, perfect builds on characters. You can get away with a half-ass build character, but if you got a strong artifact, and now if you're going to put some bonuses on it, it's going to do so much more for you. So, don't bother with this one. And uh, at the end of it, I wanted to point out that uh, if you really want to get something for Halloween, first of all, get the growth packs, those are going to be pretty good, but wait for it, there's going to be more. Like, uh, they, uh, they sent over here an email, and they said Halloween chests for sale, uh, blah blah, and Halloween happenings. It says it's six days of Halloween, and uh, it's uh, haunty good deals. So, it's most likely, and I can kind of confirm that by the leaks that floated around on Discord, there's most likely going to be more chests. There's most likely going to be every day released at least a new chest or a new offer for Halloween. So don't rush, because those two over here are not worth it. But we might get something good in the future, and they might push the things that are not so good at the start, so you waste your gems, and then you drop some fat cash to get the good offers when they come out. So wait for it. We might get something very good, and thank you very much for watching. Subscribe and hit that bell button to stay updated on every single Halloween offers that comes out every day. And I'll see you all in the next video.